The Custom Stable is a highly customizable scleral lens that's available in 14.8, 15.8, 16.8, and 17.8 millimeter sizes in oblate and prolate profiles. The oblate profile clears most corneal irregularities and is perfect for normal eyes, postocular and refractive surgery, while the clinically proven prolate version can be used to achieve healthy clearance over ectasias via steeper center zones and advanced limbal curves. To start the fitting process, take your patient's K readings and determine flat K. If it's between 36 and 46 diopters, start with the oblate profile. If it's greater than 46 diopters, start with the prolate profile. To determine your oblate starting lens, take the flat K reading and multiply it by 100. For example, if the flat K reading is 40.50, multiply by 100 to get 4,050 microns. Choose the diagnostic lens from the fitting set that is closest to 4,050 microns. To determine which prolate lens to start with, multiply flat K by 100 and then subtract 250. For example, if the flat K reading is 48.50, multiply by 100 to get 4,850 microns, then subtract 250 to get 4,600 microns. Choose the diagnostic lens from the fitting set that is closest to 4,600 microns. Ideal central clearance of the diagnostic lens is 200 to 500 microns before settling. This will assure that you are in close enough range to use zone customizations to achieve a desired post-settling clearance after you perform your final evaluation. Therefore, if pre-settling clearance is less than 200 microns, go back and choose the next steeper lens from your fitting set. If clearance is greater than 500 microns, choose the next flatter lens. Once appropriate central clearance is achieved, Allow the lens to settle 20 minutes before performing the rest of your evaluation. The three zones that can be used to modify all custom stable lenses are the central clearance zone, light zone, and scleral landing zone. By indicating flatter or steeper steps within these zones, you can independently customize the overall sagittal height, the limbal clearance, and the edge alignment to achieve the perfect fit. Use the central clearance zone to adjust the overall sagittal height in 100 micron increments to achieve 150 to 250 microns of post-settling central clearance. Plus adjustments will reduce sagittal height, while minus adjustments will increase sagittal height. These adjustments will change the curvature over the limbus, but smaller changes minimally affect limbal clearance. Use the light zone to independently adjust limbal clearance in 50 micron increments while attempting to achieve 50 to 100 microns of post-settling limbal clearance. Plus adjustments decrease clearance and minus adjustments increase clearance. Make adjustments to the scleral landing zone in 30 micron increments for optimal fit. Plus adjustments flatten the landing zone, promoting proper alignment and reducing blanching, while minus adjustments steepen the landing zone, helping to control excess movement and tear exchange. Small adjustments to this zone will minimally affect overall sagittal height, due to the fact that it is outside the tear chamber. Toricity is incorporated in the scleral landing zone of the Custom Stable Elite. Once the lens is on eye, locate the laser O's that signify the flat meridian and make independent changes to the zone's separate meridians using the plus-minus step system. To incorporate cylinder in your custom stable elite lens, notate the location of the flat meridian laser O mark while the lens is on eye, noting that the rotation is calculated relative to the 0180 meridian on the eye. Next, complete a spherocylindrical over refraction and calculate the new axis by compensating for the lens rotation using the Lars method left add, right subtract. For example, if the lens is rotated left 30 degrees, add 30 to the axis of the cylinder, i.e. an over-refraction of negative 1.00, negative 1.25 at 75. You would add 30 to the axis of 75, thus ordering a final power of negative 1.00, 
negative 1.25 at 105, so that when the lens rotates 30 degrees left, cylinder will align with the patient's desired axis of 75. For more examples, refer to the complete fitting guide. Thank you for watching the custom stable training video, and remember, fit happy.